Hello and welcome to another YouTube tutorial for Vast Light. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can use translayer editing to generate a proofread segmentation from an automatic segmentation. So the data set we're working with here is a human cortex actually and it's a small excerpt from a much larger data set. And Google has helped us to segment all the objects in this data set um, and I'm able to load the data from Google directly um, by linking to their server. So it looks something like this. Um, as you can see, it's being streamed in as I scroll through here. <coughs> and it's pretty good, but there are still some issues. So for example, here you have objects that are organelles and they should actually be part of the same object or over here. And also there are splits in the data set where one object changes color from one place to another. So we want to correct these. Um, but in this case, there are so many objects that I cannot load this segmentation as a segmentation layer. So what I do is I'm actually interpreting the segmentation as an image layer and I'm just lo loading it as an RGB stack. Um, this doesn't have segments, so I cannot actually merge a split like I could if this was a segmentation layer, but I can use it as a source to fill out objects in a separate segmentation layer. And this is what I'm going to demonstrate. So first of all, let's hide this. <coughs> so you just see the electron microscopic image layer. And then we're going to click the little pen icon, which will add some segments for painting. Um, and we can, for example, let's say we're interested in this dendrite here. So I'm going to rename this dendrite one. And then now the question is, how can I fill this out by using the Google segmentation as a constraint? And to do this, um, we're going to use the fill tool. We're going to do this at MIP level two in this experiment. So now in, under filling properties here, um, you have the possibility to use a different source layer for the masking, not the same layer. So you could if you use the same layer, relabel one segment as a different one. But what we want to do is to use the Google segmentation layer as a source layer. And then the method that we're going to use is called auto picked source cutter. And the painting mode should be background. Okay, so now if I just fill one of these objects, what will happen is, let me show you. Um, you see, all this object has the same blue color. So when I click here, it will sample that color from the layer of the Google segmentation, and then do a flood fill, like a, a watershed fill from that start point, but constrain it to just the region of that color in the Google segmentation layer. So let me switch this off again. So now I'm going to click to fill out this dendrite. <coughs> so I'm expecting that to be a rather large object, so that may take a while. You can see that um, it, the iterations go up here, and this is how many blocks it's using for the filling. So the filling algorithm actually works in, in blocks of 64 pixels cubed. And for each block, it finds the connected region. And then if it leaves that block on the side, then it has to go to the neighbor block. So that is being queued. And then iteration by iteration, the segmentation will grow into that object until it reaches the end or until you stop it. All right, so this took a while. And for data set reasons, I had to switch to a different version of Vast. But um, essentially, this is what you get after you fill this out. So it filled all the pixels that had the color in the same color that I clicked at in the segmentation layer as red in my uh, in my own segmentation layer. So now we can go in and, and have a look um, what we got here. So as you can see, um, this is a dendrite that has spines on it, but many of these spines are actually incomplete. So for example, you can see one here that is a spine head that should be part of this dendrite and it isn't fully filled because there's a split error in the segmentation. So to correct the split error in this way of editing, um, you can just use filling again. So this will have a different color in the Google segmentation. As you can see, this is purple. Um, if I click here, it will pick that color and then also label that. 
region that is connected um, in the same red color that I have selected. So if I click that, now with one click you have the spine head attached. Um, let me zoom in a little bit here. Here's another case. So there's a spine head. Um, this is the part that was filled. If I click here, it will fill the spine head and so on. So you can connect all the pieces um, that need to be parts of the object that you want to reconstruct and merge them. So this is an easy way to correct split errors. So there's another problem that I see here, which is this object. So that looks like it's an axon and for some reason it got merged in with a dendrite at some place and I suspect that it happened here. So if I want to now do a split, so I added all of the um, voxels that have this color to my own segmentation layer, but now two objects are colored in the same color and I want to have this a different object color, but this not. So what I can do is I just go to the place where the merger happened. I go to paint mode. I'm just going to stay at MIP level 2 and just erase the bit that is touching, like so. So I'm assuming that this jump in the segmentation, which is caused by a jump in the electron microscopic stack, which is caused by a missing section probably, um, caused the merger. So now since I erased it at that boundary, there's no physical contact anymore. So now I should be able to actually fill this dendrite, uh, sorry, this axon that is now colored in the dendrite color with a different color. So let's use this one, call it axon one. And now I have to go to a different fill mode. I want to fill in the same layer. And there are different ways to do this. The easiest is, I think, just to put this as a child, use parent mode, and then to fill it. So now I'm only filling um, voxels in the same layer that have the red color and are connected to where I click. And it will fill it with the selected child. So it will fill only the direct parent, which is the standard right one color with the color of the child, which is this orange X on one, because I'm in parent mode. So I'm click here. And as you can see, it filled out just the axon and the dendrite is still red. So this is an easy way to split. So now, uh, since I erased it at the boundary here, maybe I should just go in and, and paint that back. But you can always just go to paint mode, choose background so you can paint on empty, on empty voxels and just paint it back. So in this way you can very easily correct splits and mergers um, by using painting and filling, uh, especially filling from one layer to another. And you can work with segmentations that are much larger and have more than 65,000 elements to them because you can just load them as an image layer like I did here and then collect objects in a separate layer.